Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures and uh, today I'm bringing you a two minute tutorial for what has got to be my most requested tutorial, uh, comically enough, and that is how to make Manhattan. Uh, folks have been watching my stuff, uh, videos long enough, uh, seeing my pictures, uh, you'll always see a Manhattan in them. Uh, what you're going to need, of course, is a shaker, glass, something to measure your alcohol in, and that can be a uh, uh, measured shot glass, in this case you can see the numbers on this one, uh, a jigger, etc. You're going to need a whiskey. Uh, in this case, I'm using a bullet rye. You're going to need some sweet vermouth and some bitters. Uh, another nice addition, of course, are some brandied cherries. Um, the missus and I actually brandy our own for cocktails and ice cream. Uh, there are some good commercial varieties available. I do not recommend using the uh, Sunday maraschino cherries, those crazy red nasty things. Um, having just referred to them as nasty is probably a hint. Uh, in terms of uh, whiskey, um, it's your preference, ultimately. Uh, I prefer rye drinks. Uh, I prefer rye whiskey in general, um, uh, when we're talking about anything other than scotch. Uh, my wife prefers a bourbon Manhattan. Uh, they tend to be sweetier. The, uh, the rye Manhattans tend to be a little spicier. Uh, and I do recommend a, a good vermouth over a cheap vermouth. I have made decent Manhattans from Jim Beam and good vermouth. I have not made a decent Manhattan from Jim Beam and bad vermouth. Uh, so, first thing I'm going to do is a dash of bitters right here in my shaker. I like to mix these, two parts whiskey, one part vermouth. I've seen it as high as three to one and four to one, uh, but uh, the recipe I like is two to one. In the case of my shot glass, it's very conveniently measured for two ounces. Measurements matter. Uh, if you're trying to make a good cocktail, don't eyeball it, don't guess, measure. Now my vermouth, mark my finger so I can see the one more clearly. Now I do shake my Manhattans, I'm sure there are cocktail lovers out there crying about that, but that is a debate for another time. Lid, shaker, strain. When it comes to the cherry, some folks like to add the cherry juice, some don't. Uh, obviously adding the juice from your brandied cherries will make it a little bit sweeter. Uh, if that's your thing, hey, great. Uh, if not, well, don't do it. For my part today, I'm absolutely going to add cherry and just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of the juice. Stir that up gently. Set my spoon aside. Close my cherries and enjoy. Mm, that'll do. So, to all of you out there that have asked me to do a Manhattan video, there you go. Thank you for pestering me about it. Uh, hey, I'd love to hear what you think. If you had your first Manhattan, enjoy. Otherwise, uh, find me at Mr. Justin at SecretWeaponMiniatures.com or Facebook.com slash SecretWeaponMiniatures. And if there's something you want to see on a two-minute tutorial, let me know.